my name is Claire and this is Stitch Em Sew. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Today's video is a pattern review of the Lisa hoodie from Bobbins and Buttons. Now I've recently been a pattern tester for this particular pattern so I just thought that I would put together a little video just outlining about the make a little bit and my thoughts and feelings on it and the fabric I've used etc so if that interests you please stick around with me today. So as I said this review is all about the Lisa hoodie from Bobbins and Buttons. Now this is a great relaxed fit hoodie you can do a couple of different versions I've done the version with the hem band but you can also do a version with a split hem on which is great too. You've got the option to add um, a pocket on the front or leave that off um, and obviously it's got a great hood which I'll talk about in a little bit more detail because I, there's a couple of features that I really like about that. Um, in terms of sizing uh, this has got a pretty good size range on it actually it's not the most massive but it's by no means the smallest in terms of sizes and it's actually quite roomy in terms of fit so uh, it probably um, you could probably go a little bit higher in terms of bus measurement than is on the, the measurements because the, the sizing is, is quite generous so in terms of sizing um, it the smallest size is a bust of 31 and a half inches and goes up to 52 and a half inches in terms of um, bust measurements um, but in terms of actual uh, sizing uh, you know as in finished garment measurements the bust is a 41.3 uh, for the smallest size uh, and up to a 57.6 in terms of finished garment measurement on the bust so as you can see quite a large um, quite a ruby fit to it so you might want to if you're looking at making it um, size up or down a little bit I went for the extra large which is a bust measurement of uh, you know on the actual body measurement side of 45 to 47 inches now I am a 44 inch bust and if I'm honest with you I I probably should have done the large size which comes up they put it down as a 16 to 18 I think that would have been fine because this does come up quite roomy on on me uh, I also added an inch and a half to the length I didn't need that I'm quite tall I'm about five foot eight five foot nine and I generally need to lengthen patterns I didn't need to uh, so if I was to make that again I wouldn't I wouldn't make that adjustment I don't need to and I, I think I would make the size down as I say I have made the um, version with the hem band rather than the split hem but next time I definitely would try the split hem as well so here is my version I've gone with the pocket it's got a hem band on the bottom um, I've gone for ribbing on the cuffs it's a raglan um, sleeve design I really like a raglan sleeve particularly on a, a sweatshirt or a hoodie I think it's not it's really comfortable to wear I think it is um, a flattering um, design on my body shape and um, it's just really easy to wear it's also really easy to sew because you're not having to set in a sleeve or, or ease anything in or anything it just sews up really nicely so from that point of view if you're a beginner sewer you would find that element of it really really quite um, easy to use um, the hood I spoke about really liking the hood earlier what I like about the hood is um, you can do the hood lined or unlined I chose to go for lined and I've just used the same fabric for the hood lining that I used on the cuffs and the hem band so same same fabric there um, so it's actually a ribbing fabric that I've used um, 
as the lining fabric I've never used ribbing I have used ribbing sorry but I've never used it kind of as like some of the main fabric but it worked out well and I just thought it would be nice to have the colour match there but what I particularly like about the hood is the way that the lining doesn't come right to the edge of the hood you've kind of got like a I don't know what you would call it kind of like a, a cuff to it if you like um I just think it is a different detail than I've done on other hoodie patterns before and I just really like that detail rather than it coming kind of right up to the hood edge you've just got um, it sitting a little bit further back and I just think I think that looks really nice I really like it so yeah a nice little detail there so in terms of the split hem detail um, let me see if I can find a, yeah this this is quite a good picture so the split hem detail is quite um, a large sort of um, difference from the front to the back which is quite nice particularly if you like a, a longer line jumper um, on the bottom area but perhaps a little bit higher on the, on the top I think that's really nice another thing I think would look really nice would be to do uh, it's not actually within the pattern but I think it would be an easy sort of hack to do which I might try in the future is to do the split hem without the pocket and without the hood just with the round sort of crew neck I think that would look really really nice um, the instructions are really lovely and clear um, and some nice sort of picture photo diagrams on which are really lovely and clear to follow uh, it comes together really quite quickly on on their rating it says that it's a sort of a two buttons out of five so um, a, a reasonably um, easy to follow long pattern I don't think that if you've if you've done a couple of jersey makes I don't think you'd struggle with this pattern at all if you were a beginner because it really holds your hand along along the way so definitely a pattern that I would recommend from that point of view um, Julia who is from Bobbins and Buttons Bobbins and Buttons is um, a bricks and mortar store in I think they're based in Leicestershire I've never actually been to the store because I live in the, in the south of England um, so there's, you know, a fabric and haberdashery side of things. I believe they do some classes and things as well. And they've got a number now of different patterns. So it's be worth having a check out of their other patterns if you haven't come across this pattern company before. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend the pattern. I'm really pleased with my version. It's a little bit too, probably the way I've done it is a little bit too oversized than I would uh, would like it to be but that's my own doing that's not because of um, you know the, the pattern or the instruction or anything that's just me kind of airing a little bit too much on the side of caution in terms of sizing but it's a great jumper for um, checking on in the evenings being really sort of cozy and having said that I've made it out of a fabric that's relatively thin so it's not a massively um, heavy weight jumper so actually really quite nice for this time of year when you want something sort of comfy and cozy but without being sort of too thick so quite ideal for that and I picked up both these fabrics the ribbing fabric and the main fabric from um, pound fabrics this is um, was just described as I think they described it as like a jersey um, French terry type weight fabric it's not a French terry but it's that kind of weight um, it's a synthetic fabric I wouldn't I don't normally go for it but I was doing something about the fabric that just kind of caught my attention and not the least the price it was quite a reasonable price um, so that's probably what drew me in but I really kind of liked the the color of it um, again not a color I'd normally go for something about it drew me to it and um, yeah quite pleased with the make overall as I say a little bit too ruby than I would probably want to wear out of the house 
um, but definitely something that's great for chucking on in the evening when you just want something a little bit cosy. So thank you to Julia for letting me pattern test this. I really enjoyed it. It was my first pattern test actually that I've ever done and I certainly will be putting myself forward for future pattern tests because it's just great to um, sort of be involved at the more kind of the the not grassroots level that's a, the wrong expression but you know what I mean at the beginning stages it's it's really quite enjoyable to um, do that and understand a little bit more about the kind of the pattern process if you like so I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please do give me a like if you haven't subscribed I'd love it if you would consider doing so until next time take care happy sewing bye bye